Smashing. But it's all past slow smashing with another fantastic tale smashing and bashing it's slow motion and then this tale boom another tiny little boat tiny little shark boat it is made by Probo and it's called the Sprint Jet, but it looks like a shark. Should have been called Sprint Shark. It's ready to run. Safe jet pump propulsion shell self riding hull design. Never really had luck with those things, but I've seen it done before, so I'm gonna do it. Side shot with the alternate color right there. I almost got the blue one. Yeah, because we're gonna have a pool party. Every time I see these, these are going like creeks and streams. But I'm gonna put it in a pool. Yeah, and here's a shot of everything it comes with. It has a unique like, jet propulsion right there, which is really cool right here, and all these other specifications. Boom! Sad shot right there of this gray one that I got. At least it better be gray. I hope it's gray. It's a gray shark. Shark can't be not gray. And, and then on the top, we got some more specifications. It's only nine inches long. There's another one they make. I think it looks like a little like sub uh, boat thing. It's like a few inches uh, longer. I forget what it looks like. It looks like a little bullet. Anyways, I know the blurb about it. Oh man, I am just going around here finding new spots. Usually it's the same on the side panels, but this one just has something different everywhere. Look at this right here. It tells you more illustrations of the diameters or diameters. Illustrations of the different lengths of this uh, boat on its sides. Look at that girl right there. Wow. Rah! All right, so time to quickie the quick ya. Boom, there's everything outside the box right there. Look at, let's go ahead and go through everything na -na -na now. All right, so you get batteries, that's generous. You don't always get batteries for the control. Speaking of the controller, oh no, it's broken, ah, it's broken. Okay, so not really. This is another cool factor for this controller. It's pretty basic, but aside from that, I'm gonna show real quick. It like comes apart right there. You see those little power nodules right there. You just push this little button down right there, and it slides on just like that. Boom, little pistol grip. That's so cool, and it does have rubber on there and all your basic trimmings. And then we have instructions and shock stickers. You gotta put them on yourself. And we have one battery with it appears to be what? EC3? Yeah, it is EC3. EC3. EC, like ECW, like that wrestling stuff. Uh, one battery, which would have been two. And then a cigarette lighter, which we'll have tons of. And then, of course, meat and potatoes is the plastic stand it comes with. I'm just kidding. It's the boat, and this is what it looks like when you get it. It's just plain gray right there. It's cool. Tiny little thing. It's smaller than my smallest RC boat right now, and I don't have many. And quickity quick, I believe that's where it sucks up water, and it, this thing can go in shallow waters. It's really, really cool as it can go in shallow waters, like little creeks and rivers, and maybe even like two inch deep puddles. And otherwise, also because of this thing right here, this little propulsion thing, it just sucks that water from the bottom, spit it out through here, protects the pillar and it or pro that propeller and everything. Uh, look at the little steering servo right there, a little weak linkage right there. It's like a little thin piece of metal, but I'm sure it works. Pop the hood! There's your basic waterproofing right there and the foam gasket seals right there. Um, the insides right here, you see the little itty bitty motor right there. I don't know how many turns it is, but it's a tiny little 380 looking motor. Uh, it's an on off switch right there, a little itty bitty servo with a plastic servo arm, EC3 connection, and uh, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. It looks like a little steering crank or anything, but basically there's a propeller shaft right there and it's all protected with that plastic that goes sticks out in that propulsion drive system right there. Alright, real quick. So that lever, you just by messing with things you figure things out right there it's just a battery holder for the battery and that's how it fits in not too quite fancy and how it goes in there it's kind of a pain that lever thing kind of just barely fits but it works all right and that's pretty much it in a nutshell right now i'm gonna charge her up right now and get the pool warmed up for this thing the warm up pool up pool gonna be cold unless you're jumping in it too slow smash and splash um put the stickers on to get charged up and then we're gonna do a little smashing action na 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 but we need a driver Boy, maybe we go some Moto Hima. No, we're gonna go with Halo. Alright, so I did have the first flip with the boat and it does not self right with a Halo Spartan on it.
right, so if you saw that little pull vac hose snake thing that cleans the pole right there, other bolts with the propellers out, we get stuck on that thing. This propeller, this like jet propulsion thing, just glides right over it, so that's cool. Let's try it without the halo dude and test out the self right feature on it. Yeah, I never had luck with self riding features right there as you can see right there and this water is relatively still right now. The pumps did just come on. I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Yeah, I don't know. You can see that it wants to. It's just you really got the rhythm down. got to get the rhythm down. But I just can't do it. I don't know. Another thing I'd like to say right out the bat is this thing is like perfect for like a pull to speed everything. It's just like really pull oriented. They hit it right in the, the nail right in the head with the marketing on this one. The other one that looks like a bullet, they advertise it for moving like pull toys. And as you saw right there, this one does it too. It's perfect for moving pull toys. On to the next endeavor. None of my other little boats have been able to drive on a waterfall. This time I want to see if this propulsion jet drive, shallow driving boat can. Yes! I wanted to try and jump it off the waterfall. Alright, so what about this box right here? We don't want this box. This box getting smashed. Alright, this tiny pro boat jet propulsion is stupid fun right now. It's definitely a pool toy, pool dominated. Ah, oh, there's a bee right there. Look at the Don't make me laugh. Oh, bees trying to get me. Alright, that was what I was that. Alright, that was what I was saying before. Killer bees attack right there. It's a really like a, it's low cost and very fun. Pool oriented right there. It turns on a dime if you weren't seeing that in the video right there. It does. Super fun. I like it so much better than that other cheap boat that I'll link somewhere around if you want to check it out. Way better than that one. As a matter of fact, they make a bigger two-foot version of this one, and I want to get it. Back to my counterparts. 
All right, welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed that smash in action with the now shark boat. It was just like a gray boat. Now it's a shark boat. Ah, this thing's pretty cool. I love the jet propulsion. I love being able to drive a boat in smaller water, even though we just drove it in a pool right there. But on um, future tales, definitely gonna put it like in shallow puddle waters, like I did with my old uh, airbrush boat back there. If you could see it right there, yeah, somewhere up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah. All right. Anyways, y'all, let me know what you think about this shark boat. Down stairs in the comments below. But until next tale, smash your bell, smash your thumb, subscribe if you had to already because we are a tiny little shark bait, shark boat, chomp chomp, smashing out!